Hello and welcome back to the Man Cave. I'm the UP Gamer and today we're going to play some more Calibria Crystal Guardians. Today I have a couple things that are a little bit different. We're going to go over kind of a do's and don'ts and we're going to do some summons at the end of the video. Um, please like and subscribe. I'd love it if you'd hit the, uh, the like button and I would love it if you guys would subscribe. That would be great for us. So what we're going to talk about first is this converting. But before we start that, I need to talk about what you have. Uh, well, maybe we'll talk about the convert first. Okay, so the conversion here, you can convert heroes. So you may convert a, you may use convert to convert a hero to another random hero of the same initial ascension tier or level. Basically, that means a three star, or I'm sorry, a three star. I don't even know if you can do three stars, but a four star creature, you convert that, it'll give you a random different four star. If you have a five star, it'll give you a random different five star. But it will not give you, if you say use a lawful one, it will not give you a dark one or a light one. It will only be lawful, um, evil, or whatever the other one is. Um, so that's what the conversion is. Um, the way you get these uh, these essences, so you can see I have 286 of them. For a 4-star creature, it costs 30 to convert. If we look at a 5-star creature, and I go to convert, he's locked so I can't convert, but you would see it would cost 300. So you, even if you get dupe 5-stars, you can convert them if you want. But it's going to cost you 300 of these. And basically, the way that you get these uh, conversion points is by summoning. So you collect essence, collecting uh, conversion essence. Every time you do a mystic summoning scroll, you're going to get one. Um, if you do a legendary summoning scroll, you get ten. And if you do a sacred summoning scroll, you get a hundred. Now, they're all different than the light and dark ones. The light and dark ones, every time you do a light and dark scroll, you get one. Every time you do a... Earn a hundred light and dark essence each time you use a light and dark sacred scroll, a scroll or light and dark supreme scroll. So, you can get a hundred for those. I don't have any of those. I only have a few of the light and dark creatures. Um, so, there's that. I'm going to go ahead and lock my... Lich King again, but what I wanted to talk to you about is who you're going to convert. Okay, first of all, I would never suggest converting any of the four-star um, creatures unless you have a dupe of them. And even if you have a dupe, you might want to keep two, because to sanctify a creature, um, I don't even have anything sanctified yet, but I can look at it here. And when you sanctify a creature, you get all these skills unlocked for that creature. Or monster, or mob, or character, whatever you want to call them. Um, but to do this, to sanctify, see you have to put a 5 star Angel of Death in there. I have one at 4 star, but I have not leveled her to 5 yet. So once I make her 5 star, I'll be able to sanctify. And then I'll be able to pick one of those skills. So it'll take two of each, each, uh, each monster, creature, whatever you want to call them, hero. So I guess they're called heroes here, um, in order to sanctify it. That being said, I played Summoner's War for years, like five years. And in the entire time that I played that game on my main account, I never ever once summoned a Lucian. And I summoned thousands and thousands and thousands of scrolls. This game does have a better... Uh, summoning rate, so it's more likely that you're going to get the creature that you want, but you never know. You might not. So anything that you see here, I'm keeping at least one of them, and so I can sanctify. Over here, you can see that my have my uh, Pharaoh. He's level 40. I'm keeping this Pharaoh to sanctify him. Um, the rest of them, I'm keeping at least one of everything. So these are all the four stars that I've summoned. I'll have each one of them. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna convert them. You want to keep one of each at least. And there's a good chance you'll summon them again. 
but the thing is they're going to start adding heroes to this game and once the size or number of the heroes doubles triples quadruples um then it's going to be a lot harder to summon the ones that you know if if down the road they do a patch where it's all of a sudden oh that monster's awesome and you converted him because he wasn't that great to start well they do balancing patches and stuff so like this dice guy is not great right now but I'm keeping him because of balancing patches and you know it really really might make uh, a huge difference to him so I'm keeping one of each just wanted to give you guys a heads up let you know what, what my plan was the only ones that I'm not necessarily keeping one of each are are gonna be um, the voodoo walker here because he is uh, farmable through a secret dungeon the shield guardian because you can craft him and the ogre so if you go to craft you can see they're all these three are craftable so they're not that big of a worry if you if you want to convert them or use them for crafting you can the other thing I was gonna do a crafting video today about making the necromancer but I messed it up and I ran out of time so we're going to do this conversion one instead. All right, we're starting off with the Wisp here, and we're going to convert her. Wish me luck. I am still hoping for a Druid. And that is the Fire Spirit. Okay, uh, here's something else you should know. When you do convert, as soon as you hit the button, it's going to spend your conversion essence. But if, say, you like this... Uh, this monster more than this one you can click cancel and keep it but those essences are gone but I do like this this is flame spirit I think I have one I can use this for um, leveling up or, or I mean skilling up or possibly sanctifying so we're gonna keep that and there you go there's our new flame spirit all right Pharaoh what are you gonna get us we need a druid. That is not a druid. I mean, here's the beautiful thing. He is craftable, so I can take him. It's already selected. I can just hit convert again. And it will use more essences, of course, but uh, I want a druid. That's what I'm really looking for. And this is the other guy. This is a holy swordsman or something like that. Royal swordsman. I already have one of him, so I can convert him also. And I'm going to, because I want a druid. Uh, that must be the paladin. That's the first paladin I've got. I'm going to keep that. Like I said, one of each. And then I can go to my archives. And look, I got a bunch of new ones in here. Now I have him. Take these marks. Oh, and there's my activation for that. Yeah, I'm getting these because I leveled up monsters and evolved them. There we go. I'll take the hundred grand for each. I like that. All right. So we got something new anyway. That's good. We do have a couple more to do. Thorn Spirit. Um, I've summoned many of her, so we're going to keep going. Alright, come on. Give us the Druid. That is not a Druid. Holy Swordsman. Yes, you will be converted. We need a Druid. Barbarian. Had a bunch of you. We want the druid. I got three left. That's all I can do. Three more. And the dice man, or dice man, or whatever he's called. Fortune. Yep. So I got two more converts. We're hoping for a druid. I don't even know. What other four stars am I even missing? The druid. I've never gotten Una. What about here? Uh, no vampire yet. So Una, vampire, druid. And that's it. So, it would be nice to just get one of them. 
I have two more converts. Come on. Druid, Vampire, or Una. <laughs> so he converted to Fortune and then back to Thorn Spirit. That's not great luck. We got one more to go. Actually, we'll have one more after we summon, I believe. Druid. One time. That is not Druid. Back to the Wisp. So if I go to convert, you can see I don't have enough. All right, well, it was, I guess, semi-productive. I got a Paladin out of it, the first one I've ever gotten. So um, it hasn't been great luck with that. I will put these back into my storage to make sure we don't just waste four stars. All right, and then let's do some summons. I have 16. Uh, I will have one convert left. Or one more to do. We're going to start out with a 10 pull. Uh, wish me luck. We're going for the druid. Also, smash that like button, please. And subscribe. All right, here we go. Give us the gold. We got gold. Nice. Five star. I don't have her yet. Awesome. Woo! That's sweet. Yep, been looking at her, watching everybody else farm with her, and rocking out. Awesome. Love it. So you can see right up here is where your little essences are. I got six summons left. How about just a four-star druid? Just waiting on a druid. That was awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. Get the troll lancer. The beetle man. Four more. All right. Ah, oh, harpy, sweet. I can definitely use that for skill ups. I could use mummy also. I did get a cleric in my ten pull. I could use that. Plus the spider queen. Love it. All right, we got two left. Gold, do it. Druid. Ah. Who's this? Lumi. Oh, I already got her. That's all right. I was hoping. Five star. Do another one. Last one, Druid. Nope. That's all right. The old monk. All right, we got one more convert left in us. Because we get up to 32. What was this? Achievements. Activate five. Five star heroes. Nice. I'll take the, the skills cat. I haven't used a single skills cat yet. I don't really know what I want to use them on yet. I'll keep watching. You can see there's all the ones that I've gotten. Oh, I got a mummy too. Awesome. I got to pull one of those four stars out to... And we'll do the Thorn Spirit to convert and hope for a Druid. That would be the perfect end to this video. Give me the Druid, baby. Alright, here we go. Druid one time. Another Lumi. Well, that's alright. Well, that's it. Um, we did some summoning. I talked to you guys about converting. Please like and subscribe. And, uh... Tell me what your thoughts are on the Spider Queen. New five-star to play with. Um, I appreciate you stopping by the Man Cave. Uh, have a good day.